Welcome to the sixth episode of Hilti Live and the very first of 2021. My name is Jonathan Campbell and I'm a Regional Account Manager for the Building Construction Sector at Hilti. Now today's episode, due to current restrictions here in the UK, is taking place in a secret testing facility, um, which is actually the workshop at the back of my house. Uh, but even with that being said, we've still got an exciting episode planned, so if you're interested in seeing some of Hilti's latest innovations, stay tuned. Now before we get going, remember this is 100% interactive, so please feel free to pop any questions in the comment box, and I'm told even though it's a Friday, the team is going to respond as quick as they can. Or, if you're watching after we've gone live, don't panic, you'll have uh, the chance to ask any questions, pop them in the comments box and the team again will get back to you as soon as, you, as they can. So with that being said, what are we going to look at today? Well, we're going to have a look at the new improved DGH or the floor grinder. We're going to have a look at the wall chaser, the DCH150 SL and the anticipated XO01 Skellington. Now, I know you're keen to see the XO Skellington, but first let's take a look at the DH. DCH150. Now what a great bit of kit this is. It's been a real workhorse over the years and a firm favourite of many of you as well as myself. Well it's hard to improve on perfection but I think we've done it. With the new innovations we have added you can keep smashing out the work with the new DGH150. So let's have a look around it and then we'll see what it can do. So first things first, if we follow the power cable I was thinking we'll come across the floor, that is very true. There is no power consuming unit anymore. It's just a plug into your supply and you're good to go. It's also got a brushless motor, 2100 watts in actual fact motor. It's a 100% faster removal rate compared with any angle grinder out there. We have a new improved D handle with a quick release, so it makes it really super easy to get it in the position you need. You'll be used also to the really great dust hood that we, we used to have and we still have kept it. You've got the height adjustment there, and so you want that about a mil off the floor. We also have the side um, adjustment on the grinder hood, so you can get right up to the edge or into the corners, so you've still got that great feature. Um, the dust port now runs on the underside of the tool, to a fast connection port. At the back, so straight into your VC, and we recommend the 60, so that straight in clips in there. We also have a real, really good improvement, which is the, the power switches. So as you can see, you can see the green LED lights across the top there. So to switch it on, we just simply press the power button, which is engaging it, and then to use it, we press it again and hold it. This gives us the power. If you want it on continuous, so you don't have to hold the power button, we just press the top button there and that keeps it running for the duration of use. You also have the full control over the power here. So whatever surface you're using, you've got full control of the amount of power going through the tool. Um, the blade is still a 150mm blade in 6 inch and old money with a quick release nut. So that's a quick overview of the tool. Should we see what it's like when we get going with it? So I've got a 9 inch curve here, I'm just going to put my PP on and then we'll carry out a little bit of a trial. As you can see on that 9 inch curb, worked a treat. So the DGH 
150 floor grinder. Great bit of kit and still continues to be that. So next, the long-awaited exoskeleton. So before I joined Hilti, I worked on the tool. So I'm only really too aware of the toll that the construction industry can take on your body. And it's only a matter of time really until aches and pains and even sometimes injuries can happen. So when I heard about the exoskeleton, I was looking forward to getting my hands on it because like many of you probably, you've got questions and I had questions too. Uh, about how much it would benefit, really, you guys on site. So how do I feel about it now I've managed to get hold of it and give it a good going over? Well, to start with, the EXO is not going to turn you into Arnie or Dwayne Johnson. If you are weak, then your only way of getting stronger is to go to the gym, and that will solve that. The exoskeleton has been designed to reduce the stress and strains and fatigue that working overhead will put on your muscles and your joints. Now I feel that anything that can reduce the impact on your body and keep you working productively and efficiently has got to be a good thing for the construction industry. So let's take a look at it and you can make your own minds up. So it's a slim design, so that's laid flat on my bench here. It's a very flat design, simple to adjust, four or five adjustments maybe total to make sure that it fits comfortably for yourself. You've got one here, the bottom which is done with a screwdriver and that adjusts the height of the arm. You have the resistance control here which decreases or increases the resistance and the arm strap bands which make it fit comfortably chest and waist fittings. It goes on just like a rucksack. Now I am six foot four and my wife tells me I'm carrying one or two pound extra. I know I hide it well but I have put a little bit of weight on since coming off the tools, but it still fits comfortably. I'll show you how that works. So like I said, just like a backpack, you put our arms through. Put the waist strap round, which like I said, even for a portly fellow like myself, fits comfortably. We have the chest strap. In the arms. Now these are kept in place with little magnetic clips with a thumb pull. Pull that round, make sure it's connected on the arm, and again for the other side. There we are, and that's as simple as it gets. Now, there's been a few questions, so I've been sent some flashcards to try and answer some of those for you. Now we've had a lot of comments and questions on social media about the exoskeleton, so we thought we'd answer them for you. So the first one comes from Frank on YouTube. Hello Frank. That would never pass health and safety on site, he says. Well, we're happy Frank to tell you that we've been out testing this on multiple sites and so far all the health and safety managers are more than happy with the safety of this bit of kit. We've tested it with various full protection harnesses too and it doesn't impede on their function in the slightest. But we do agree you must always consult your health and safety manager and get their approval first. So our next comment or question comes from YouTube from uh, Brett. He says, what if you slip backwards and need to bring your arms down to fall? Well, Brett, I can safely say this doesn't impede my movement in the slightest. So yes, I will be able to stop myself from falling. Bill from YouTube, too many snaggable sections, seems like a lot could go wrong. Well, again Bill, we've tested this exoskeleton in lots of scenarios and just like any bit of kit, they all have a limitation. The only limitations with this comes from enclosed spaces or scaffolding, climbing scaffolding, where the extendable arms can get caught. However, they are extremely durable and even under intense pressure, the metal will bend at most. Our final question comes from Andy on Facebook. Hello Andy. What about if you need to catch something? What's the responsiveness of the arms? If you're slow to start with, you'll be slow wearing this. It doesn't improve your catching skills, I'm sorry Andy. So those are just a few of the questions. If you've got any extra questions, again leave them in the comments and the team will get back to you as soon as they can. Now, what about a practical application with it? 
Well, I'm going to put a text through just up in my Z Perlin up there so you can see just how this works. Let's put my gloves on. So it's at this point, working overhead, that it really comes into its own. This is where it removes the strain and stresses that it puts on in the real life application. Now doing that all day, anything that will alleviate the stress from your body, and that's just one example of an overhead application, has got to be a benefit. Now the DCH, last but not least, the 150SL replaces the old DC20 and what a beast and workhorse that was. Now that tackled whatever you've thrown at it, but again we've added some innovations to the new one so you can keep, sh keep working and keep tackling your jobs. Now again let's have a walk through it and see what we've added and then give it a try. So we've got the soft grips front and rear, we have the power at the rear and the um, depth gauge at the front, so even left handed that's still a comfortable use. Uh, we have the switch layout which I've gone through which is the switch at the back, that's the power on and obviously the depth at the front. You also have the depth selector just on the front which goes up in increments of uh, 5 mil and then we can either lock it or have it free moving whilst we're cutting. The dust extraction has been improved uh, again with a quick connector so it goes straight onto your vacuum system. There we are, easy as that and obviously a clip as well to keep your power cord out of the way. It's also a deeper and wider cutting machine at 50 by 50 millimetres. Now combine that with the SPX blades that we have, which are at least 40% quicker than any other blade on the market. 40% quicker cutting in any material as well. So this means this tool is going to fly through the work you throw at it. Um, we also have an improved motor, 1700 watt motor and a full LED system on here which keeps you working at full performance and keeps you really productive. And a great addition, which I've saved to the last, is the laser module. Now, I don't know whether it's the kid in me, but anything you can strap a laser to is great. So this simply slides on the front and locks into place using the back of the uh, blade chain key. And it simple, has a simple on and off switch on the actual module. Now, why is this good? Well, it means that I can have my target location, my target spot, I can have my start reference point, I can switch the light on and I can make my cut without having to do any lengthy lining processes and have a nice straight cut. Well, that's what I'm going to try and show you now, a nice straight cut. Now, it's been a while, so I'll try my best. Let me just get my PPE on again. greatest and longest run but you can see just how accurate you can be with that additional laser. So that's it, thanks for watching everyone, I've loved getting your hands on with some of the kit and showing you the latest innovations. The team will post all the links to everything you've seen so you can check them out at your own time. Any comments you know where to leave them and make sure you join us next month for some more Hilti innovations. Stay safe and have a great weekend. Cheers.